Well, I have a Sprout grocery haul for you today. I actually went to, is, I think it's Sprouts. I haven't been there in so long. Can I tell you, I really enjoy that place. If I did not have a Costco membership, I would be shopping there because their produce is popping. I also went to Target, which is initially why I went out. And uh, well, I, I mean, I needed fruits and veggies. I wasn't anticipating making a haul video, but here I am. So I don't know if I will make this into like a bonus video or a standalone video or if I'm going to throw it in a vlog. We don't know. You know right now. Um, I also went to Publix to get a couple of things that Target nor Went Sprout had. Why was I just about to say Wentworth? Oh Lord, being a mom. Words are always hard. Okay. Um, so basically went to Sprout amazed by the produce options and well on my list was really just like watermelon and like two other things and then I thought well while I'm here I might as well stock up for the week so without further ado let's just get into it here is the haul as a whole so as you can see <laughs> way more than a watermelon um, starting with Target over here this is Target I got some jasmine rice and I'm thankful I did because in the bulk food section at Sprouts which is typically my favorite section they had everything pre-bagged obviously because of um, corona and they didn't want everyone spreading their germs in the bulk food section so um, I also don't think the price was great on their jasmine rice because it was organic so i don't know so i got the good and gather brand if that means anything to you and i got three bags of it jasmine rice seems to be what my family likes even though i think this week i listen i won't be sharing like meal plans with you through this maybe i will share the meals with you i don't we don't know what's happening basically but i'm trying to do like low carb this week just for funsies i also got these dry erase markers I thought these were fun looking as well, um, and they were the cheapest ones. So win-win, they have a little eraser on the end of them, and the kids need these for their morning or their summer checklists. Oh, that's been going great. Did you make a morning checklist? Let me know how much your kids love it. <laughs> I shared with you one of my kids hit it. So yeah, that's, that's how great it's going. It'll get better. It'll get better. Uh, three bags. I actually got a couple of these gift bags a few weeks ago, last time I was at Target, and we've actually used them surprisingly. It's crazy. So I like how it's neutral. It doesn't say like happy birthday. It's not theme specific, which is great because I can literally use them for anything. And they're a dollar and they're super cute. They just have, you know, fruit all over them. Oh my gosh, speaking of working out. So lately i have been doing at home workouts which ugh, is good and bad like thankful i have space to do it but also oh my gosh give me some space do you know what i mean kids are constantly running around and they listen they work out with me which is fantastic which segues into i wanted to get wentworth some weights he's constantly trying to hold on to my 10 pound weights and also i need like a, a more a wider variety of poundage weights i just have a 10 pound weights and then we have like 25 pounds but listen i'm not trying to bulk up you know what i mean i need like an eight pounder sometimes <laughs> you know <laughs> when i'm doing flies flies are hard shoulders are hard so anyway the entire aisle oh i should have taken video i did not i told you i didn't think i was going to do a haul the entire aisle bare literally this was the only weight on the shelf and it was just tucked right on top and I was like oh, well I guess I'll take it so a little lonely two pound weight right here so he is already beaming about this excited so we're gonna have to look up uh you know Facebook marketplace or something and try to find used weights these are the best Himalayan salted dark chocolate almonds oh my heavens I shared this with you guys and a lot of you have like tagged me on your stories on Instagram and told me that you bought them off of my recommendation and that you love them so much. So if that says anything, I'm not lying. They're delicious, not nutritious, but they'll satisfy your late night craving for some sweets. I also got, well, 
they already cracked into these avelina these are avelina's favorite coconut chocolate chip they weren't on sale at target normally laura bars when they're on sale at target i buy a bunch of them and last time i got the huge box from amazon and that seemed to be a better price so that's what i'm going to do and then eleanor loves the z bars wentworth will eat either one he doesn't care he's not picky at all but eleanor likes the z bars the chocolate brownie ones and these i like them better than granola bars because they have two grams of protein. Ooh, a lot of added sugar. We'll look past that. 11% of your daily fiber. So a little better than a granola bar, but still a treat. You know, it's still a snack. It's not that great, but it's, it's better than Doritos. That's my standard here. Uh, yellow mustard. We ran out of yellow mustard. How does that happen? Oh my gosh. And whipped cream. Guys, I bought about 17 pounds of strawberry. So my kids are always asking for whipped cream and it is a lovely treat in the morning. You know what I'm craving? I don't know why. Every time I'm pregnant, I'm craving this. I'm not pregnant. FYI. But every time I am, well, maybe I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't let the rumor mill begin. But I love waffles with strawberries and whipped cream. Is there anything better than that yes there is we're moving on to a sprout that is everything that I got from Target can you believe it I mainly went there because I had some returns and I didn't want them to like pile up or be forgotten about okay so sprout uh, let's start with the cool things so I got some yogurt covered pretzels but a strawberry flavor I'm excited about this they had all kinds of flavors they had lemon oh my heavens lemon if you could see the types of things my body is doing talking about lemons I should have bought those but I thought oh, my family isn't gonna enjoy them and what if I don't eat them and you know what I mean they had chocolate covered they had I don't vanilla cover all kinds of different flavors but I went with the strawberry because it seems to be the theme of this haul I also got some Dave's killer bread but in um I always forget the name of this type of muffin English muffin is that what it's called it's a classic killer muffin a killer clap who cares um so this bread if you're unaware um, first of all, it's like seven times more expensive than any other bread you will buy. But it's better for you. Six grams of protein in each one. Eight per two grams of fiber. The ingredients are really nice. And um, yeah, anyway, so I got these. Just trying to be better. I like Dave's Killer Bread. Uh, my favorite is the seeded one. Ooh, and then this. Okay, uh, if you watch my like diaper bag video of me organizing my diaper bag i think it was like meredith's six month checkup or something uh i have this every one brand hand sanitizer spray it's a spray which is awesome it's not that cheap it's like 2.99 even at target but i love it um this one is ruby grapefruit what they had peppermint uh peppermint something it was a green one peppermint and something else i don't remember and then uh, the lemon and coconut which is my absolute favorite but i have two of those and they had well they had four all together i don't remember what they were oh lavender who wants that but this one caught me by surprise grapefruit is very strong scent in this and i thought oh yes please uh okay third favorite thing at sprout they had these watermelon flavored licorice Oh, what? Oh my gosh, you know what I got? Oh, slash segue. Oh my, things are falling. Okay, I got these. I actually don't even remember where I got them. I think I was at just some random store. Eight dollars? Man, I love my dad. I bought these for my dad. He loves licorice. Oh, now that I'm thinking, is it black licorice? I want it to be black licorice because that's what my dad likes. He's a nut. Who likes black licorice? Only the true crazy people but this is licorice with chocolate it's like his two favorite things in life i'm definitely his daughter because um we're both addicted to sweets however i don't like black licorice do you let me know um they also had different flavors in the licorice as well i don't know why i wanted to buy these i don't know why i was pulled toward them i just thought yeah why not watermelon they had strawberry they had what's in here a lot of sugar oh it's no fat Oh no, wait, these have fat. Don't Twizzlers, isn't their whole gimmick like fat free? <laughs> yeah, but it's like 700 pounds of sugar. Okay, moving on to the real food. I got some raspberries, blueberries. We're just picking out on the berries lately. Some red onions. I have been loving this. If you saw my last um, like week of dinners, I made all oh, the most amazing, it's, I 
call it like chipotle in a bowl. It's basically onions, peppers, corn, beans, romaine lettuce, and a little bit of rice, cilantro. Oh my heavens. Can I say that 700 more times in this video? It's just so much fun. Oh my heavens. So it was really delicious. So obviously, and plus I love red onion in my salads, romaine, feta cheese. What else is in it? Onion, it's gotta be something else. Oh, cucumber, mm, delicious. And then Olive Garden uh, Italian dressing is great. I got a couple bundles of bananas right there. This seedless watermelon, I actually don't know how much it is. If I save my receipts, I'll try to put all the prices there. Well, we'll see, we'll see, okay? But I asked one of the employees, I said, do you have any seedless? And he brought out a bunch, well, like five. And I said, oh, my heavens. <laughs> I said, thank you so much, I can't believe it. Because they only had seedless out or the really mini ones, but they literally like the size of my palm and they were like five bucks. And I said, no thank you to that. I picked up a couple of these just from Meredith. Sometimes uh, we do really quick dinners and I don't have time to like, I don't, I don't know. You know, it's just sometimes Meredith needs a little something quick. So I got, this one is apples, blueberries, and oats, and then apples, pumpkin, and carrots. So we'll see how she likes them. She's never eaten from a pouch or anything, but you know, we'll put it on a spoon maybe. I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, peppers, a lot of peppers, two red, two yellow, one green, it'll hold us over. I also got a pineapple right there. Oh, so good. My mouth is literally drooling. I cannot wait to eat some of this stuff. I'm so hungry. Oh. Uh, my heavens, <laughs> the strawberries were three for five dollars. So of course, I almost bought e even more. They had an abundance and I thought, what? That, that is a screaming deal. That is not a deal, that's a steal, my friends. Three cartons for five dollars? Unbelievable, that's what I have to say about that. Absolutely unbelievable. And they look really good too, so we're excited to dive into that. I also, I'm running really low on my baking powder, so I'm glad that I've remembered to get this. Um, a couple of apples there, green apples, just to hold us over for the week. Uh, what is this, spaghetti squash? Oh, last time we had some kind of, I don't know what it was. Oh, like a, an American type goulash. And you know, I use this in lieu of pasta if you want to, or just add it to any pasta dish to like bulk it up a little bit and add in some veggies. It's fantastic and your kids like won't even know what hit them. Well, maybe they will if they're picky. Maybe cut, you know, you shred it. Once you cook it, you shred the insides, maybe cut the shreds smaller and they won't know what hit them. <laughs> Again, maybe they will, I don't know. Or if your kids are the type of kids to like pick out tiny pieces of onion, they'll definitely know. But if they're not, then you'll be good. I got some zucchini right there. They didn't have many left. I basically got all that they had left on the shelf because I guess it was a deal it's like 75 cents a pound or something nutty. Oh my gosh, speaking of nutty, the the price of this cauliflower, I think it was a dollar, maybe less than a dollar. Insane in the membrane. So I got two of them and on my low carb meal plan this week, I remember it had cauliflower. I don't remember what it was I think it was like beef and cauliflower or something. But then we also like to um, bulk up. Like I said, I make Madras lentils. I get them from Costco and then my kids like it with rice, but I do equal parts like rice and then cooked cauliflower. And they love it, love it so much. And plus they're getting in a veggie and it just makes me feel better about life. Okay, um, cilantro, ooh! Someone tell me how to keep this fresh because I don't know how to keep it fresh. I put it in like a little cup full of water and I still feel like it dies. Should I chop it up? Will that keep it fresh longer? <laughs> Should I shake it? <laughs> that do anything? Okay, I also only got, what is this? Three avocados down here. These were 75 cents a piece, which I feel like is a normal price because at Costco, what, you get a bag of six or seven for, I don't really know how much. I don't pay attention. I just buy the avocados. Soon enough, what, uh, Wentworth's, grandfather, who am I talking about? Alex's grandfather, he has an orchard and hopefully soon his avocado tree will be ready because that's when we go ham on the avocados. I don't like avocado. I wish I liked avocados. Meredith loves avocados. Um, okay, peaches over here. <sighs> Let me tell you a story about peaches, you guys. I was just walking my way through Sprout, walking my way downtown, walking fast. No, I was making my way downtown. 
face is past and I'm homebound. I'm peach bound. It was so I anyway, okay, just can I delete all of that? I was walking past the produce section in Sprout, not yet ready to shop the produce. I was on my way to the bulk food section. Do you need to know all the details? No, but you're my friend and I like to share. So I walk okay, short story long, I walked past the peaches and I smelled the peaches and I said, Oh my heavens. <laughs> I couldn't believe how delicious these smelled. However, um, the yellow peaches were on sale at, uh, again, a crazy, ridiculous, unbelievable price. But I think these are white peaches. I don't think they had any yellow peaches left. They smell really good. Should we crack into it right now? So um, I'm walking around like I don't know where my knives are. Let's crack into it. Moment of truth. Ooh, it's a yellow peach. Hey! Ew! Ew! Mmm! Mmm! Yep. Oh. I didn't wash it. Oh man. Oh, I didn't wash it. No! What's gonna happen to me? What's gonna happen? Well, we'll wait and find out. Okay, so they are yellow peaches. I looked at the, the little four number code and it was a different number than what was on the um, the label, the tag, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I'm running out of space in my brain for words. This is public. So the last thing I got from Sprout were um, cheese. I The kids have been asking for grilled cheese. So I just got processed yellow American cheese. That's so funny that they wrote it on their process. Um, and then I found this when I ran back for more. This is sliced mild cheddar cheese. And this is almost the same um, weight. No, it's not. It says it is, uh, but this was much cheaper. And then for some sandwiches, oh, because I also, over here, got this Cuban bread for $1.89. So I figured for lunch today, we can just have some sandwiches. So I bought a uh, smoked turkey breast for a jamming price of $7.29. And then the honey ham over here, straight off the bone. Sprouts knows how to do it. And I wanted to look at the chicken stuff, but every time I went by the, the the chicken, like the chicken thighs and chicken breasts, someone was there. And I like, you know, I didn't want to wait, but then to my own demise, because I ended up not getting chicken. Anyway, this is straight off the bone, so you can like see the fat in there. We'll see how it tastes. I bet you it's delicious. Okay, moving on to Publix. Oh, the good stuff, guys. Are you peeking? Are you peeking on these? They Sadly, these are not old-fashioned sour cream donuts. That's what I really want. I don't even, I hope I don't eat a donut. Oh Lord, please help me not eat a donut. Avelina made a list for me. If I could show you right now, let me get it. All right, so she made this list for me. Can you see it? Ramen, watermelon, buffalo chips, beans, cookie dough, glazed donuts, <laughs> pepper, lentils, fries. Uh, and Alex wrote that. Don't you like how Avelina's handwriting is better than Alex's? Oh man, that's funny. Anyway, so I had to get some things on her list. I can't leave her out. You know what I mean? So she went out of her, she's been literally asking for this stuff for a week. And I was like, we have enough food. I'm not leaving the house yet, blah, blah, blah. We went through that whole spiel. So I, you know, short story long again, they will be happy, all of the kids to see this. They had a box of six, but I said, go big or go stinking home. These were seven bucks for 12. Oh my gosh. I just want a sour cream donut, guys. That's all I want right now is an old-fashioned sour cream donut. I also got a bag of bagels for Eleanor because she likes that in the morning. She's a carby gal. And then, of course, for Avelina, she's my lover. Actually, all the kids like these, but she requests them the most. Hot buffalo wing pretzels. Oh, my mouth is watering because I know what they taste like. Oh, I forgot one extra thing at Sprout was this sweet tea. And then um, on my way home, Alex said, the baby's sleeping, you can stop at Publix because I told him Publix, the uh, Sprout did not have the milk that he wanted. Oh, this is the milk that he wanted. Uh, what is it? Bananas and almond milk? I don't know, guys, this is weird. But he says it tastes really good, but the aftertaste is terrible. So take from that what you will. Um... I also got, you know, sweet tea from Sprout and then sweet tea from Publix because I know Alex likes the Publix one. He's the only one who drinks sweet tea and I wasn't sure if he would like this one. So the more the merrier, you know, there's the takeaway from that. And then I got some milk right there. This is what everyone drinks in our house, sweetened vanilla milk. And then I got some rice dream in the back. Woo, we're done. 
I held the camera really weird, so my hand's like cramping up. Also, my battery's about to die. It's like perfection, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, Wentworth, you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Okay, so that is everything that I got from every store that I went to. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, let me know what you thought about it. I don't know what, I don't really know what's happening in my life right now. All I know is I'm hungry. That's the truth. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.